A lot of times when we talk about Fivetran, we're really only thinking about it in terms of that extract component of the tool. But I think an underappreciated part is its ability to also handle the transformation component of your data pipeline. And while you may choose to handle this in a completely separate tool, the ability to keep that in the same place is possible with Fivetran. So in this video, we'll walk through what that actually looks like and set up a very simple transformation for us as well. Before we get into setting this up, I just want to level set real quick on what's happening and why this is an important concept to discuss. Typically, you have two different forms of data movement. You have ETL, which would be you extract, you transform at the same time, and then you load it into your warehouse. There's transformation activity happening in between that extract and load before it ever gets there. The shift more recently has been to ELT, which is extract, load, transform. And the difference there, as it sounds, is first you're going to extract and load everything into a warehouse. And then only once it's all loaded, then you run your transforms later. And that likely will happen on a completely different cadence. This second approach is becoming more popular and that's why tools like Fivetran that focus on just that extract and load component primarily are becoming more popular. And tools like DVT, for example, that focus just on the transformation are also becoming more popular. So with that in mind, that's where these Fivetran components come into play. Essentially what they're offering is one, you can use their service to extract and load. And then on that loaded data, run transformations on whatever cadence you want. So you're still following that ELT approach, but you're using the Fivetran interface to handle all of it. So that could be a completely separate discussion on its own, um, but I think that'll get us going for the purpose of this video. So let's hop onto the computer and talk about how to set one of these up. So here I am on my Fivetran page. I have a very simple connector to a Google Sheet, just has some information on uh, the Avengers, Marvel Avengers, and the destination in this case is Snowflake. It's my Snowflake data warehouse. If you're curious about how to set all of this up, that's handled in a separate video in the five trans series. So go ahead and check that out. To give you a quick preview of what this data looks like, here I am in Snowflake and I have this Avengers history table and it just looks something like this. It's nothing crazy. So we use five tran to, to extract and load this into our data warehouse here. And now let's go to transformations. As we can see here, there are two options. One, we have Fivetran transformations, which is just going to be SQL scripts. And we'll see what that looks like in a second. Have them run when data changes or on a specific schedule or as soon as it lands in your destination. Either way, remember this is happening after it loads. So it's not happening at the same time. The first thing that's going to happen is it's going to extract and load it into your source database. And then it will handle these transformations. There's also the option for DBT transformation, which is a little bit more complicated and more advanced and a really pretty cool option that they do have, but we'll cover that in a separate video. For now, let's just start with the basic transformation. So let's just review what we're looking at here. We have, uh, we're gonna give it a name. Here we can give a script and then the schedule type. Again, we can either run it as soon as it arrives or on a schedule. In this case, we're gonna stick pretty close to what their example is. And we'll just create a view on the fly. So essentially it's going to load and then we'll create another view that pulls a couple columns. It's not very interesting, but you'll get the point. We'll call this create Avengers view. And this name right here, uh, just to clarify, is only used to track in Fivetran. It's not going to be deployed or anything like that. This is strictly just to be used within Fivetran in your list of transformations. You'll see it under the name you give it here. Let's just do something uh, very similar raw dot avengers we'll just say transform view just to show what it is as and we'll say select let's look at our options here we'll do name alias and year why not let's just say you wanted to rename it just to give it something a little different from and we'll give this we'll grab this table name Not sure if we need this again not the cleanest script here but you, hopefully you still get the idea schedule type either when the new data arrives or on a schedule so you could do this as often as you want but again just consider the costs associated with running this on your snowflake or wherever warehouse there is a compute cost component to that and if you do choose to run this on a schedule recognize that the timing will be slightly different potentially 
uh, than when it's loaded. Let's do it 24 hours and you can select a run time as well. You know, when you would want this to run. Maybe you want it to run every day at noon, something like that. Okay, let's go ahead and save and run. Quick note here, this is a good call out. The transformation name must start with a letter or underscore and can only contain letters, numbers, or underscores. So essentially, I can't have these spaces here. Only underscores and all lowercase. Let's try again. And now we get this prompt to run the SQL script and it will be executed using the user that Fivetran is connected with. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Make sure the Fivetran user has the correct permissions to execute this process. It says they recommend testing it in your destination first, especially for longer ones. So what we could have done is copied and pasted this in Snowflake and just double checked. But let's go ahead and run now. I'm pretty confident. Success, transformation has completed successfully. Let's go back here and refresh. And here it is, transform view. It just created that for us. And here is the view that it created. If we highlight over this, we can see the owner is Fivetran role, meaning that was who built this, as we know. Now that is done, success. Let's go to view transformations now. And here we can see it has a history for us. We can see the start time, end time, how long it took, etc. And if we were to continue to run this every day, we would get this history and it would show us, you know, our history of the transformations. We can edit it and very quickly change this to whatever we want. We can run it again real quick and run now, enable or disable it. If you want to pause your job for a little bit. And that's pretty much it. I mean, at this point, think about the fact that you can extract and load with Fivetran. We just created a simple transformation step or logic, whatever you want to call it. You can make it as complicated or as simple as you want, create as many as you want, and really design it in a way that works for you and your team. And in the next video, we'll take a look at how to use those DBT transformations that we mentioned earlier in the video. So again, thanks for watching. If you have questions, leave a comment and we'll see you at the next video.